It's a paradox. The city's big, and there's less communication than in small towns. Uh, yeah, because it's bigger. <laughs> why, why is that a paradox? How's that hard to understand? <laughs> Hello, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator. Welcome to Bus Stories. Stories from the bus, I guess. So, I haven't played this game before. So, this is a, a laid-back sort of game, from what I've heard. And that's what really attracted to me attracted me to it in the first place. Um, that and the really, really cheap price point. So, I guess we'll see if my money was wasted or not. Uh, if I want to make this into a series, or if it'll just go into the uh, Date and Dips section of the channel. I'm really not sure. I, I don't know a whole lot about this, so let's go ahead and start it up without any further ado. Go outside. Whew! <laughs> yeah, right. Hi, buddy. You just, you just gonna stare at me, huh? Hi there! Uh, hey! What's your name? I I'm Dayton Does. Wow! My older brother's name is the same! Oh, he's one of those fucking copycat YouTube channels? I know about those boys. I've seen them all over the place. I just laugh every time. I'm like, enjoy your eight subscribers. Because they thought that they thought that it was me. The fucking <laughs> 1,000 subscribers. It's really not that much. One of my friend's two left thumbs uh, recently reached 10,000 subscribers, so... I feel kind of shit about my channel, but uh, we're gonna keep plugging away. Why not? Just do some stuff that I enjoy. And up in the, it says, "Oh hi, Mark." Oh hi, Mark. Uh, I guess that's to, yeah, to reference the room. They're like, we know it's a shitty game. Just enjoy. He studies well at school. Your older brother, huh? Mommy says that school is like kindergarten, but for grown-ups. Are you? Are you mentally deficient, or... You don't have the, the body parameters of a, a child, you see. Your your head is way too big. So, maybe you have hydrocephaly or something. No, your head's too small to be a child. That's what I mean. I don't know what I mean. So yeah, school's like kindergarten for adults. Mom also says that my brother studies well, and I must take him in as, a, as an example. Well, that's good advice. Your mom sounds like a smart lady. My mom's name's Mary. Oh, cool. My mom's name is Anonymous. <laughs> My mom's name is Redacted. <laughs> Mom cooks very well and takes me to kindergarten every morning. Aw, that's so nice. She cooks your cereal, huh? <laughs> What's your favorite food? Uh, tacos. Tacos or pizza or roast beef. I, I really just like food in general. There's lots of Filipino foods I like too. Sisig, mmm, xiao mai, oh. Lugao, even Lugao, it's just like a rice soup. It's, it's really good. Put some chili oil in there. Eat it until it makes you cry. It's delicious. Anyways, yeah, that's my favorite food. What's your favorite food? I love lasagna. Oh, that's a pretty good good choice. I like that. And uh, 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 tiramisu. And uh, I also like fried potatoes. Well, you got a, a fine palate there for a kindergarten. I, I'm surprised that Kindergartner knows what tiramisu is. Fried potatoes mixed in with eggs. Oh, dude, stop. You're making me hungry. And the tomato salad. Oh, that made me not hungry anymore. I fucking hate tomatoes. I don't know if anybody out there knew that, but it is disgusting. T tomatoes are just foul. The foulest, the foulest fruit slash vegetable on the planet. Dad teaches me how to write. Aw. Does your dad, like, you know, work or something? When I read books, Dad buys me ice cream. You shouldn't need incentive to read books, son. Dad loves hunting. At home, we got lots of those... Uh... Uh... Trap... What? Those! Trophies! I had a deer's head on the wall in my room. Wow. Okay, then. <laughs> that'll that'll put a, a kindergartner right to sleep. A giant fucking eight-point book on the wall. <laughs> It was too scary and Dad took it off. Yeah, that's what I thought. Your dad's crazy. Dad hunts deers, boars, and ducks. Sometimes he takes my brother with him. Oh, that's a nice family bonding. My brother doesn't like hunting, but Dad tells him that every man must hunt. Your dad's a smart guy too. Mm-hmm. Why doesn't your brother like, like hunting? He just doesn't want to kill stuff? It's okay to kill it if you eat it. If you're just killing it to kill it, then you're an asshole. But if you eat it, then, then that's good. When I grow up, I'll go to school and hunting with my dad. I asked my brother if he likes school. He said that he had a few friends there. 
and he was called Weird. But he tries not to care about it. He spends his free time studying in his room. Your brother sounds like a nerd. That's why he doesn't enjoy hunting. Because he's a nerd. <laughs> if he hunted and became like a manly man, then people would probably not call him weird anymore. Just helpful hints for life. Fit in. You know, you're, you're part of society. You gotta, you gotta fit in the mold. I'm sorry. I know not everybody wants to, but it's just part of living. Welcome to life. He's always reading and writing something. He very often tells me about some Elik and Byland. What? I don't know about that. Today he asked me to forgive him before school. Oh my god. Ha, he's done nothing wrong to me, silly. My mom and I had a meal and went for a walk. When we were walking in the park, I saw a squirrel. <laughs> okay then. Did you- what happened with your brother at school? Why do you apologize to you before school? He's gonna shoot up the school, isn't he? I'm gonna see him on the 8 o'clock news. The squirrel was very big. Okay. It was eating nuts, as, as squirrels are wont to do, correct? And after that, someone called my mom from school, and she started crying. Uh-oh. I see where this is going. This is supposed to be like a feel-good game, isn't it? God damn it. She sent me to my granny on this bus. Oh, there's an empty seat by the window. I'd better sit there. Alright, see you later. Nice to meet ya! And here's a bus stop. Let's go outside. Go outside! To the shop, to the toilet. Well, it, it looks like my poo meter is empty. Let's go to the shop. I need some foodies. I need some drinkies. What you got here? A little root beer? I like some root beer. Give me a couple of these. Yeah. And uh, you got burgers, the hot dogs, ice cream cones. Oh, a taco. Taco for shoddy. And uh, give me a cookie. Give me a burger. I'll take another another drink. What's this, Mountain Dew? I'll take some Mountain Dew. Alright, cool. Thanks for that. See ya. Uh, should I eat a little? Om nom nom. Well, that doesn't fill me up very good, does it? I guess it's better than nothing. Om, om, om. So good. So filling. I'm sorry, I gotta go back to the shop. Hey, can I have some more of this stuff? I need drinks. Give me this milk. What is this, milk? I want some milk. Alright. And uh, maybe toilet? Make a little poopy? Poopy doopy. <laughs> Well enough. Oh, and I even flushed. Alright. Let's get back on the bus. We ready to go. Take off. Ah, what a nice relaxing journey. Hi, bald man. Hi. I'm Nick. What's your name? I'm Dayton Does. I got a friend named Nick. Nico. Nico the Legend. You know about Nico the Legend? Pull up your, your, your YouTube app. Let me show you. Mom says I must not talk to strangers, but you seem fine. Yeah, I I'm pretty fine, you know. I I'm a nice guy and stuff. I, I haven't killed anybody in like, you know, a few years or something. Actually, I talk to people very seldom, except my mom. Oh, you live in the basement eating tendies, are ya? I know about people like you. Acquaintances find it weird. Well, that's probably not the first thing that you should say when you're introducing yourself to somebody. I don't talk to people besides my mom. Oh, okay, well, you're fucking weird then. But she's my only friend. I don't know how I would have managed without her. I mean, your mom could be your, your best friend, but don't make her your only friend. That's sad. By the way, I'm Nick. Y yes you are. <laughs> I'm a salesman. And what a great salesman. Such a personable and likable personality you have. <laughs> mom says I'm very absent-minded and forget to introduce myself. I would never manage without her. Aww. You seem like a, a weird guy, Nick, but you know what? That's okay. I love my mom. I love my mom too, bruh. She's not my only friend, but she's 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 one of my best good friends, you know? It's like Forrest Gump or something. She always takes care of me and makes me pies. <laughs> Tendy pies. <laughs> Apple pies. They're called, um... Cab... Uh, cob. Well, oh, they're called cobblers. Yeah, of course, I like apple cobbler. My wife makes me cobbler. 
because I'm married like a normal person because I ventured out from under my mother's wings. Not to, not to judge you or anything like that. That's fine. You know, you just sit home, eat your pies, eat your tendies, you know, kiss your mom on the mouth, stuff like that. That's fine. Everything's normal here. <laughs> mom always smells like pies. Oh, God. <laughs> Tell me no more. I like that smell. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, don't say that my cheeks are chubby because of pies. Your everything's chubby because of pies, bro. Look at your, your movies there. Your, 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 your guts hanging over your belt there. You're supposed to be a young child, athletic, and I guess they're all kids. I don't know. Am I a kid? What happened to all the adults in this world? There's some deep lore in bus stories that we need to get into. <laughs> Mom says that my cheeks make me look better, and I look like my dad. Oh, your dad's fat too, huh? Mom says that dad went on holiday when I was five. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> he went on holiday with Aunt Stacy and never came home. Or six. Or seven? And I also have short memories since I don't know when. Yeah. Apparently. I often forget what I just said. Hi, by the way, I'm Nick. Although, I think it is not obvious. It's pretty obvious, dude. You can't remember what a cobbler's called? You can't you introduce yourself to me twice? If you were a salesman, I would not buy anything from you. I'm sorry. I'm gonna see my mom at the hospital. Oh shit. What happened to your mom, bro? It seems that a week ago she made my favorite pies. She ate the apple seeds. They got cyanide in them, dude. She's gonna die, bro. <laughs> I remember eating one in the kitchen when all of a sudden she held on her heart and fainted. Holy God. She had a heart attack from too many pies. Cause you guys like eat like fat people all the time. I called an ambulance right after I finished the pie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> Don't do that, dude. You, you gotta call the ambulance first, eat the pie in the ambulance, okay? Just for next time. Doctors were surprised. They were doing something to her for a long time. They said they were taking her to the hospital. They asked me to come in three days. I don't know what I would do without her. I love her so much. I really hope your mom's okay. I know I've been busting your balls a little bit, Nick, but yeah. I, I really hope she's okay, man. That's, that's a, a shitty situation to be in, you know? Even more than pies. <laughs> I'm going to the hospital with my mom. Oh, sorry, my name's Nick. I just forgot to introduce myself. <sighs> oh, Nick. I, you're, you're a strange character, aren't you? Oh, I just remember the doctor said the name of the disease. It's an animal from a horoscope. Oh, it's cancer, bro. Heart cancer? Is that a thing? Hopefully there's nothing serious. Excuse me if I'm getting on your nerves, but I had to tell someone. I appreciate you opening up to me, man. I'm not so good with, like, emotions and being comforting, but it's, it's nice to hear somebody's story, you know? Thank you for listening to my story. You're welcome, bro. Oh, it's my bus stop. Or it's not? I don't know where the fuck I am. What's going on, everybody? So should I eat while I'm on the bus? Um... Yeah, let's, let's have a little drinky drink. A little foodie foods. A little more drinky drink. Alright. And I'll take some bites of this ham, too. Alright. Now I should probably uh, go outside, no? Do I have to eat all the food? God damn. I guess I do. Now I really gotta poop. I gotta make a ham poop. That's the worst kind of poop. Alright, here's the toilet. Ain't no uh, hand washing station, so I guess it'd be what it be. Let's check out the shop real quick. Oh, look, you got a steak. Bruh, hook it up. Uh, I'll take some french fries, I'll take a steak. Uh, get some drink. A little bit of dranky drink. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, no more room. Okay. I guess that's it. Back to the bus, everybody. They're gonna take off without us. Cool. That's that's pretty good. We're going through a tunnel now. Oh, I was really enjoying the uh, the background out there. Now I got nothing. Looks like we're in a dungeon. Oh, this is a short tunnel. Don't worry. That was like tunnel all the way to the next bus stop. Holy shit! We are Siamese, if you please. Hello. They said together in the a fucking creepy way. Do you want an autograph? 
Not particularly. Don't you watch TV shows? Not particularly. Oh, well, actually, we're not so famous. Yeah. <laughs> really. You know, now it's popular to make all kinds of remakes of remakes, crazy crossovers, and it must be cheap and quick. Well, we're one of these film actors. There was an old movie, a movie version of the book. What book? About a writer who couldn't write and about his family. There's a lot of books like that. They moved to an isolated hotel in the mountains and all kinds of devilry began. Oh! I know what you're talking about. That's The Shining. But they were little girl twins. Are you, are you two little girls? Or did they get you on there as like a diversity hire? Or what's the story behind that? Is it because you work cheap? Work cheap and quick? Well, and there were other series after the movie, not that famous or successful, but some aesthetes liked it. Aesthetes? Aesthetes? What the fuck? <laughs> is that a spelling mistake or is that a word I don't know? Most people did not really get it. Nobody ever does, dude. Now producers decide to do a remake crossover. They added vampires in the original story. Oh god. Wide audience coverage, the producer said. And with all this horse circus, which was created for from neo neoclassism, they tried not to give us a role. Roles. Originally, there were two creepy girls, and you're not girls. And you know what? All this fashionable SJW, the protection of gender equality of oppressed people, came in handy. <laughs> ah, bus stories here, you're deeper than I first imagined. I, I rather like this game. They wanted to refuse us because of gender. Yes, if we had let this story in public, the series would be closed. We gave the producer a clue, and here we are. Stars of new popular Flash in the Pan. <laughs> is it not awesome? It is quite not awesome. <laughs> Congratulations, but, uh, but, uh, but, uh, I ain't gonna go outside. I don't need to go outside. We're good, bro. Keep this, keep this shit rolling. Hmm. What is all this? Our photophobic townspeople vampires or what? What? Who are these people? What's on my phone? Oh, change the background? Yeah, dude, I like this fucking vaporwave shit. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, and we could change the music? Hey, bus.mp3, hug, 8-bit, hell yeah, that's what I'm into. Alright, I guess we have to go outside before the bus driver will keep going, so uh, I just peek my head out the bus and I'm like, alright, back on the road, let's fucking do this thing. Those SJW <laughs> twins, that's some, that's some hilarious shit, and even the guy named Nick. First character was a little boring, but the second two definitely had uh, quite some personality. Hey, what's up with you, Munchkin? He looks like a lion because his ears are sticking out from his hair like that. D did you hear about Hurricane Emma? No, bro. Now everybody's talking about it. They say it destroyed many buildings and deprived many p people of home. Oh, that's so sad. I feel I feel awful for those people. But insurance probably got some insurance, right? I mean, if you don't, then why not? <laughs> it's for just just occasions like this. M my name is Emma as well. Oh, are you a, a girl or are you a man that's becoming a girl or... I can't tell. I'm sorry. You're not very talkative. Yeah, I, I, I ain't got so much to say to people like you, alright? Just coming up. Hey, did you hear about the latest disaster? What am I supposed to say? What am I supposed to say to that shit? Open up a conversation with that? That's horrible. <laughs> you're, a, you're a strange one. All my life I wanted to get out of my native city. It's a small town where nothing happens. I don't know what that's like, man. I grew up in fucking Burbank. Burbank, Sunland, LA. The Sun Valley. A lot of shit's going on there all the time. It c gets on my nerves. Okay, well, now you're out. Congratulations! There's nothing to do. You can walk around it in just an hour. You should just do that every day. I know the city as well as the back of my hand. I'm tired of walking every day in the same p p places. 
Well, now you can walk on the bus. We're going to many different places. Which are, moreover, not very picturesque. Aww, that's so sad. My town's not pretty enough. Blah, blah, blah. Everything's familiar. F familiar and uninteresting. Yep, yep. Much like this conversation. <laughs> I've heard it all before. I want some, some action. It's not a lot of money and a lack of foreigners. A lack of foreigners? <laughs> Too bad. Snap your fingers. Oh, darn, we're lacking foreigners. <laughs> what the fuck? And you can barely meet new people. Oh, that's what you mean. Lack of foreigners so you can, so you can meet new people or something? I don't understand you. Locals behave so p provincially, their horizons are limited, interests are poor, and the way of life is b boring. Bitch, you fit right in with them. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. You're not uh, cut from a different cloth, okay? Your horizons are extremely limited. Hey, did you hear about the disaster? My hometown sucks. All right. Well, I don't. I don't give a shit about either of those things. The way of life is boring. You're fucking boring. You're boring, bro. We also had marginal people and just w weird and unusual people. Yep, I think you're one of the weird and unusual. Or just marginal. You're not even that weird. Like, Nick was weird. He left an impression. Emma, I'm gonna forget about you in about fucking four seconds. I do remember one g guy. Everyone called him Diogenes. He was a poet, a singer, and a philosopher. And he lived in a fucking trash can! No one kn knew how old he was. And when he was b born, he looked about 50 years old. He would be always cheerful and good-natured, but a weirdo, you know? They say in the 90s, he made a round-the-world trip on a bicycle. During the trip, he gave concerts and played his songs. I heard a c couple of his songs myself. One of them's called something like, My apple pie is tastier than your strawberry cake. <laughs> Reminds me of my friend Nate, you know? He he really liked the philosopher Diogenes because Diogenes didn't really give a shit about social influences and stuff like that. And uh, my friend Nate really doesn't either. So he went out on a street with just his guitar, lived basically around the world, just kept traveling uh, around the US with his, just his guitar, busking for money. And eventually he did settle down, but it took him a good like two, three, maybe four years to do so. So he's definitely seen some shit, got some interesting stories. I should get him on an episode of something sooner or later. Maybe Terraria or Left 4 Dead 2. He's been in my Left 4 Dead 2 series before, but uh, I digress. I will get that boy back on to tell some hobo stories. Yeah, strawberry cake, whatever. And the second one, last night someone took the wheels on my car so I attached paper wings to it and flew off with my dog into space. <laughs> he, yep, that's, that sounds like Nate, all right. Or Diogenes. Diogenes also had a car. Oh, Nate didn't. An old one. Cars like that weren't released for a long time then. They say this car was given to Diogenes by his fans. Oh, oh. I give Nate some shit. I'm a fan of his. Mom t told me that one night he went out of a store and saw some hooligans trying to break into his car and steal it. As soon as the hooligans got the car started, Diogenes started chasing them. It didn't last long as the car very soon died. <laughs> What else can you expect from an old wreck? You mean the Diogenes fella or the, or the car? I shouldn't talk like that. I'll be 50 before you know it. Fucking right around the corner, bro. Those guys began getting out of the car and running away. The d door jammed and one of them could not get out. Diogenes ran to the car. Got him out. Holding him with one hand, he dragged the hooligan t to the front of the car. He opened the hood and threw the bully under it in such a way that his whole chest and face were under the hood. No one knows for how long he was beating him this way, but the guy eventually ended up in intensive care with a concussion and a huge amount of fractures. Having dealt with the hooligan, he got into the car, but he didn't see his dog. He looked around and saw her running away into the woods. Oh no, they stole the dog too? Fucking monsters. Couldn't give a shit about an old beat up car, but the dog? That's, that's unacceptable. He rushed after her. So Diogenes lost his car and his dog in one night. That's sad, isn't it? The dog's much sadder than the car. I, I also remember another eccentric one. I was closely acquainted with him. His name was Gabe. Gaben! Gabe was about 45 years old. He was also a little strange, but harmless. 
I liked hanging out in computer clubs since I didn't own one myself at the time. See, it is Gaben, I tell you that. Whenever I came there, Gabe would always sit at the computer. It seemed that he lived there. I don't know where he got so much money. He left to play Return to Castle Falcon's Foxenstein 3. That's shit game. Once I showed up with a cupcake. I couldn't eat the whole thing at a time and I put it aside. Then Gabe approached and asked if he could finish it. I was surprised, but I let him. Then he took the half-eaten cupcake, took a seat, and began to eat my cupcake in silence, as if he had just bought it. <laughs> he was a weirdo, but very naive and a kind fella. He would never hurt anyone. That's a real story about Gabe. I don't know if you knew that. It's a pity he died a couple years ago of food poisoning. That's also a true story about Gabe. <laughs> well, nice guy he was. Thinking of him makes me sad. You got a lot of sad shit on your mind. You need to, you need to brighten, brighten up. So, I'm a little distracted. It's difficult to find a good job in a small town. Yeah, the small town. Here we go again. When I wanted to find a job after school, there was only one vacant. A place of a salesman in a video rental store. Are you serious? Who rents CDs with movies this time? I'm not even supposed to be here today. I'm looking for Happy Scrappy Hero Pup. <laughs> You know what I'm referencing? Probably should. It's so boring that there that people there have to gossip to have some fun. People gossip so often because their own lives are empty and decent. Everybody knows one another. When you talk to someone, it turns out there's some sort of connection between you. See, that seems kind of nice, doesn't it? It's difficult to hide something there. Well, live like you you li live like everybody's watching. I don't know what the fuck you're trying to hide. Happy moments and especially problems are discussed by the whole city. People from small towns often tend to discuss and condemn others. That's true. Just just keep to yourself is my advice. You won't be left alone. You shall not even think about a swimming pool, billiard, and other cool places to go. There are no opportunities and interesting people. Therefore, after graduating from school, I finally moved to a bigger city. At first I found it cool. Size, variety, and all that. Then you quickly get used to it. It's a paradox. The city's big, and there's less communication than in small towns. Uh, yeah, because it's bigger. <laughs> why, why is that a paradox? How's that hard to understand? Crowds of people don't care about one another, and sometimes about themselves too. Yeah, I know plenty of people that don't care about themselves. They're like, fuck it, fuck everything. Wow, it looks like I did not stutter too much. It happens once in a blue moon. This snoring creeper annoys me. Do you think that if I punch him, it'll stop? I don't know. Hold on, though. I gotta, I gotta have a little drink. I'm super thirsty. Get long-winded. Shit. I think I woke him up. Yeah, he woke up. I think I made him angry. I'd rather change the seat before he does something to me. All right, I'll see you later. I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy my steak. Ah, oh, steak. Gotta empty this bag eat all my stuff. I basically just need, uh, drinks. I'm just super thirsty now. But anyways, friends, this has been Bus Stories. Kind of interesting. We had two really interesting characters that I liked a lot, and then two characters that were completely forgettable. Actually, Emma was actually kind of annoying. The first character was forgettable. But yeah, this has been Bus Stories. If you enjoyed it, let me know. If you want to see some more, let me know. I'd be glad to bring it back around. I'm still on the fence about it, you know? Uh, it's got some likable stuff, but also some stuff that, that makes me say, hmm. But, yeah, maybe I should just give it a little more time. So if you want to see it, let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that little bell button if you uh, would be so kind. And if you really want to make my day, there's links down in the description to Twitter, Discord, Patreon. If you could uh, check any of those out, that would be massively appreciated. Thank you so, so much for watching. Big, big thanks to Emmett Mexicura and Nico the Legend for supporting me on Patreon currently. Once again, friends, this has been Bus Stories. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I shall see you in the next one, friends. And until then, bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.